welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. All right, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing Neville Goddard's lecture titled Thinking Fourth Dimensionally. All right, so for those of you who don't know, I offer self-study courses based on the lectures and there is a VIP group as well where I dive a little bit deeper into each of his lectures and there are links in the description box below. There really is so much more to these lectures than I think many people realize at the beginning of the journey. Um, but as you, uh, as you awaken and you really begin to um, embody the state beyond the 3D and really even the fourth dimension, uh, which is just a state of being, it's a state of consciousness, things really evolve. So that's why I've decided to go deeper into the lectures just to provide um, some additional understanding, some additional revelation to what Neville is really talking about. All right, so let's get into this. Now, thinking fourth dimensionally. So Neville talks about the fact that there are actually two outlooks, uh, two actual outlooks on the world that are possessed by every man. Uh, we have the carnal mind and we have the mind of Christ, uh, the imagination. So this world is really a three-dimensional state, but there's also the fourth dimensional state, which is the imagination. There are actually, there are, I mean, there are many dimensions, but uh, really Neville talks about the third dimension and primarily the fourth dimension in many of his lectures. So uh, let's see. He talks about the fact that uh, by changing our assumptions and occupying uh, that state, so the state of consciousness of having our desires and persisting in those assumptions, uh, that's when our desires will manifest with into the three-dimensional world. All right, so let's go over some of the terms within this lecture. All right, so the natural mind is just, it's the carnal mind. Uh, the spiritual mind is the mind of Christ. In this lecture, the word cemetery, it's just a record of the dead. Uh, tombstones, and mentioned in the Bible, many of these words are you know, from, from the Bible, from scripture. So tombstones represent our prejudices, our superstitions, and our false beliefs. The child that is housed within man represents ambition, desire, and the unfulfilled dreams of your heart. Uh, Jesus is the awakened intellect of man which of course is the power and the wisdom of God, Jesus Christ. Uh, the woman uh, with the issue of blood in the Bible, uh, she was she represented the state of consciousness of one who could not give form to her longing. So someone who has a desire, but does not ever see it manifest into reality. Uh, her faith, this woman with the issue of blood, her faith uh, is that which cleanses her of the for the former concept of self. So she's the one that touched Jesus's robe. Um, so it was her faith uh, that cleanses one of the former concept of self. Bethesda is was the house of five porches. So it represented a house of five porches. And the five porches represent the five senses. All right, natural focus is the carnal mind. Spiritual focus is the mind of Christ. The pool in Bethesda, <clears throat> and I don't know what verses these were for. I mean, I'll go over the Bible verses as well in the next video. Um, but you can always refer to scripture. And of course, um, in the VIP group or the self-study courses, uh, the scriptures are um, are there as well for many of these. So the pool in Bethesda is our consciousness. The angel is an idea called the messenger of God. The Sabbath is not a day of the week. The Sabbath is just 
the mystical sense of stillness. Uh, the woman of Samaria, that is the three-dimensional you. And Jesus at the well, that is the fourth-dimensional you. And the argument uh, between this woman and Jesus at the well, uh, I believe that's what the argument was, who, it was between I don't know. We'll have to refer. You have to refer to the lecture. But anyway, the argument that he talks about uh, in the lecture is what you want to be versus what reason tells you that you are. Uh, the five husbands. So this woman in Samaria is talking to Jesus at the well. Uh, talks about her five husbands. Those represent the five senses. And the sixth husband is the imagination. That is your desire. What would you like to be? All right, dimension. So a dimension is any way in which a thing can be measured that is entirely different from other ways. I'm measuring a solid, a solid fourth dimensionally in any direction except for its length, width, and height. And then a dream is an uncontrolled four dimensional thinking or the arrangement of both past and future sensory or impressions. All right, so those are some of the key uh, terms that Neville mentions in this lecture and, um, and gives meaning to the symbolism. All right, so thank you so much for joining me for today's video. In the next video, I'm going to go through the Bible passages found in this lecture, give you guys any additional insight there. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye now.